and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. I'm super excited. We're finally getting some brand new content. Now, guys, I don't know about you. I don't. But this week has felt crazy, crazy, crazy slow. Like, honestly, like, when content was coming out, I swear to God, every single, every, every day was Legend Saturday. Like, we were going, I was like, wow, these weeks are just flying. Here we are six months later since the start of Madden 21, or Madden 20, I should say. And then this week comes up, no joke, it's been so dead. There's not been a single thing in Madden, no house rules, nothing good, no new solos, no content, no drops. Now, I get it. I get it. We're, in, we're almost in March. I understand but they should have given us at least a house rules or something. You know, keep us just keep us busy, keep us on the game. But guys, we are getting our NFL Combine player preview today. Now, I do not know if we're getting the whole thing just yet. As you guys know, I record this and I go watch the stream and I come back. But I don't know if we're getting the whole thing. It seems like it's a player preview. It could be all of it. But if it's anything like the theme diamonds, I'll show us like a master or two or a few big players, some solos. Now, this could be the special stream. It could be if they don't do one at 7, but we never really know. Sometimes they do the whole special stream at 10.30. Sometimes they do that some at 10.30 and the rest at 7. It really depends, guys, but I'm super excited. Remember, the giveaways still are going on. I will be announcing the giveaways on the community page. I did not get to yesterday. I was a little busy. I'll be announcing the three winners on the community page, as well as, guys, to enter the giveaway, all you got to do, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below the number of like you are and your system. Once you're listening, you're to win. Every 80 likes is going to be another 10K giving away, guys. That is about it. Let's go ahead and over to go check out all the stuff. I'm super excited. I'm assuming CJ2K at Master, like usual, but I, I mean, it would make sense for him to change it. It's been years straight. I'm hoping for a Pat Pete, CJ2K, Jadavion Clowney, Odell, McCaffrey. Any of those cards, super happy. I always love having those cards in Madden. But guys, that's about it. Let's go check out all the new stuff. Be right back. Hey guys, so we're over on the screenshots, over on Twitter. Let's check out everything. So as you guys can see here, the NFL Combine challenges start right here. Overcome the rigors of the NFL Combine to earn a Combine player. Now... You do this to earn a Combine Conqueror. Now, a Combine Conqueror is pretty much going to be like an evolution card for all you guys who play 2K. Or if you guys have played older Maddens or even during the Harvest promo with the Bosa card and like the Odell card, they're going to start at like low overalls and you're going to upgrade them with tokens. Now, how do you get the tokens? It appears like it's going to be solo challenges. And you're going to upgrade them all the way. You can get your DK Metcalf all the way up to a max 95 overall. And I'll show you guys what you can do for them from there. So, one of the NFL Combine Masters or... Uh, I should say heroes, because the master's going to be another player. Going to be Amari Cooper, 96 overall. We haven't got a coop in quite a while. He's got 93 speed, 90 jumping, 93 catching, 90 spec, uh, catch traffic, 91 spec catch, 94 short route running, 94 medium route running, and 90 deep. In my opinion, not the greatest card. Uh, I don't mind him because he's going to be Nat and uh, not a bad fourth receiver, but a little slow in my opinion. If you do power him up and chem him up, though, you can get him to like a 96, 97. But the other stats aren't exactly great. Decent route runner, though. All-around receiver. Not bad. Next, we got Mike Jasicki, one of the 93 overall, uh, higher overall combine cards. Decent card. You guys know Jasicki's an athletic tight end. He's at 87 speed. Pretty good catch and decent route running. Would make for a decent backup tight end. Then we got, these are some of the lower pieces. So we got Amir Abdullah, Paris Campbell, Jonah Smith, Jonu Smith, sorry. Forrest Lamp, Drew Locke, Garrett Bradbury, Marquise Valdez-Scantling, and Carrion Johnson. All around decent cards. So we got the play primetime combine challenges, play combine dailies, and upgrade your combine conquerors. This is kind of the objectives. So play primetime combine challenges. These are going to be challenges directly involving Deion Sanders primetime, which you're going to use to get tokens and uh, other rewards. The combine dailies, you're going to want to play these every day. They do give you, I believe, an 85 to 86 overall combine player, which can be put into a set to create one of the heroes. So you definitely want to be doing that. And then your combine uh, conqueror, as you can see here, earn a combine master Deion Sanders. So as you guys see, the Combine Masters, not Chris Johnson this year, it is Deion Sanders. Thank the Lord, I love me some Deion. It would have been cool if they did Leon Sandcastle, though. Same thing, just like kind of a, a work in progress screen. And then we got when your welcome pack, which is Deion Sanders, 84. We got the DK Metcalf Combine Conqueror, as you can see here, 95 overall. You power him up by putting in his Combine Conqueror dedication tokens, which you earn by putting things into a set, which then gets you Combine dedication players. I'll go over all that in just a second. But 96 speed, as you can see right here, going to be really, really fast. You can toss Sprinter on him, which I'm not sure if you can, because I'm not sure if that's considered a power-up. If you can put Sprinter on him, which oh, you can't right here, I can see now. If you could have, it would have made him pretty great. Although, maybe he gets a power-up. Maybe he has a power-up. I'm not really remembering right now. DK Metcalf, again, 86 overall. That's where I guess he's starting at. And then we got the Combine Conqueror Metcalf. And then Tier 2 for the Solos, you get an 83 to 93 overall Combine Standout, which is super cool because that does go in the Hero Sets, which you do need those Heroes, as you guys know. Amar Cooper plus the other two for the Dion Set, so it can definitely help. And then we do get a Team Captain Token, which is super awesome. Team Captain Tokens are always fun. Going to get our Shazier for most people. Up another overall. 
Now, guys, real quick, this promo is going to be in multiple parts. So we got the first part coming tomorrow, second part coming March 2nd, and the last part coming March 4th. So this promo should go for at minimum a week, plus whatever the 4th entails after that. All right, guys, as you can see here, this is the Combine Master Award Pack. So if you don't know what this is, this is pretty much when you finish the Deion Sanders set, what you get afterwards. So you're going to get a Power Up Sanders. Denzel Ward, Kamara, Deion Sanders, and Amari Cooper. As you guys can see, Denzel Ward and Kamara are the other two players. So this is one of those sets that I like, guys, where you end up getting Dion, you end up getting Denzel Ward, Kamara, and Cooper Nat. Super good. We haven't gotten a Kamara or Denzel Ward in years past for combines. Denzel Ward makes sense. Kamara, I expected we would have got one at least last year. But I hate giving us Kamara cards. Here's the Combine Master Award pack. Pretty simple right there, what it looks like. Then we got the Deion Sanders set, as you can see. Trade in three of the 96s to get him, and you get back him and his three 96s. Very self-explanatory. Then we got the DK Metcalf full back of the card stats. So he's got 96 speed, 95 jumping, 91 catching, 94 catching traffic, 96 spec catch, 89 route running, 84 medium route running, and 89 deep route running. Really bad route running. Super athletic. If he could get sprinter guys and powered up, if he could have been, his car would have been pretty insane with 99 speed, but that's what could have been. We got the random combine standouts. This is the cards that we're going to need in order to... I believe put into the set so you can you can exchange low overall elite players. You're able to uh, do the 96 overall Mark Cooper set, which is 11 players, but I think you need combat standout. And then we got the Conqueror token set. Now for the Mark Cooper, we're gonna need standout players. So you can you you can go use well you can do the dailies to get some of these cards right here, these 85 to 87s. You can do some of the low elite sets to get some of them. And then these you gotta either get lucky with a pull or you gotta buy them. But it could make it significantly cheaper if you do this properly. Here's here are the Deion Sanders stats, which I know you guys are all waiting for. 98 speed honestly not impressed by the speed only because if you have you have Deion Sanders on your team powered up you already know he already has 99 speed so powered up and Kendall gonna have 99 speed 98 excel 98 agility gonna have 99 jumping just or just about gonna have about 98 play rec gonna have 99 man coverage going to have I believe a 98 zone coverage and like an 85 press pretty good looking card again the only issue with Dion every year is that once he gets like his 94 overall he's pretty much maxed already it's always his press that just sucks and that doesn't really get much better for the rest of the year but still a great looking card gonna be super athletic gonna be super fun to play with gonna be super glitchy and probably get some pretty cool abilities moving on to the next one here's just the rest of the pack that we didn't see before and then guys moving on to the store we got the three times count uh, combine bundle gonna be 20 bucks just about for three of these are these worth it? Are they not? We don't know the odds. We don't know the pack pulls yet. It has not come out yet, so can't say too much on that aspect just yet. Then we got the 85 plus overall NFL combines. We got the NSL. Uh, well, that's just it. That's actually it for it. My bad. So gonna be a pretty good uh, video possibly to make where I open up a bunch of these for you guys. We'll see. Maybe we'll set a like goal tomorrow. See if we can get to that. Kind of. I'm really excited for this, guys. Truthfully, I'm, I'm super excited for this whole promo. Let's see. We get. Oh, the Conquer Player Exchange. This is what I was telling you guys about. So trade in your 95 overall combine Conquer. To earn a 93 overall in that combine standout. So pretty much, let's say you get your DK Metcalf to 95 overall. And you have a God Squad. You can't use him. Honestly, DK Metcalf is just a waste of space. You can throw him into the set and get back a 93 overall player. Now, I know, right? Typical EA. Can you give me your hard work and grind it out 95 overall? And we'll downgrade it for you to a low overall. It's also not. But there is a benefit to it. That 93 player can go into the Mark Cooper set, which could significantly save you on coins, which could then lead to a much cheaper Deanna, maybe even a coin method of saving coins on that. Really just depends, but there is could be well potentially could be a lot of uses for that. And then we got the Conqueror tokens. So to get the tokens to upgrade your Metcalf, you're gonna need two 85 to 93 overall standouts to earn a fantasy pack with all three Conqueror tokens. So you can only choose one, but you get three. You can pick one. I don't know if you need all three of them. You probably do. So I guess you're gonna have to do the set like probably three times. Not entirely sure the amount you need just yet. And then finally, the Alvin Kamara stats: 96 overall, 92 speed, 97 excel, 96 agility, 94 carrying, 86 catching, 90 looseness, 88 trucking, and 93 break tackle. As per usual, as per usual, Kamara sucks. Way too slow, even with a 99 excel powered up. I mean, if you power up and come up, you can't get him to like a 95 speed, which isn't horrible. But like, my Barry was faster than that. My Saquon blows that away. If I end up doing the Dion set, I'll keep him as a backup Nat card that I put as like my uh, my receiving back, which would be super fun to have. Don't get me wrong, I'd love to do that, but. I won't be starting him as a running back. And then next, we do have the Denzel Ward card to show you guys. So Denzel Ward, 96 speed, 96 excel, 96 agility, 93 jumping, 90 play rec, 96 man, 89 zone, and 95 press. Now, I will be powering him up probably because I do have his power up already. Powered up, he's going to get 99 speed. Powered up, Kemdo going to get close to 99 speed. Or, no, for me, he'll get 99. 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 agility, 99 man, and 99 press. So, going to be a great cornerback if you're blitzing or playing man. And even in zone with that speed and play rate, going to be awesome, guys. I recommend you pick up both of them. Now, send it over to the man screen to close up this video. All right, guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Face cam back on. Remember, guys, to enter the giveaway. All you got to do, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. 
Comment your console and your like, by the way. And once you do all those things, you're entered to win. Every 80 likes is going to be 10k given away. Good luck, boys. And I hope you guys are ready for this promo. Super hype. And expect one more video today. I'm out. Peace.